Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today I'm going to look at Chrome versus Safari on the iPad Pro. So I'm sure as many of you already know, the Safari version that's running on the iPad Pro is actually the full version. And actually with Chrome, there's actually some stuff missing. It's a bit of like an iPad or a, a tablet app version of the uh, the actual full application. So it's not got all the features. So I just wanted to show everybody basically what you're missing out if you were trying to replace your laptop with a MacBook. Sorry, with your if your if you were trying to replace your laptop with an iPad Pro, what exactly are you missing in terms of functionality? Can you still use Chrome? Um, in the same way. So I think the thing everybody does on an iPad is watch videos. Now, of course, there is already a YouTube app, so you can actually just, you know, use the app. However, some people might want to actually upload videos. For example, in my case, I want to upload videos using YouTube, but I can't do that on Google Chrome. So if you actually, for example, go to my you, know, you go to your channel it will just show you my videos it won't actually show you um it won't take me to a place where i can actually upload anything now in terms of watching videos you can watch videos so it sucks me to tap today you. your information is more so exposed you can than ever definitely watch videos when you shop so if we skip sign in or browse oh. you could be oh, vulnerable it's not skipping because not skipping more online threats demand more skipping. protection let me turn this that's down that's why norton 360 provides multiple layers of protection it is not skipping um uh, okay so that's see you see that's another another problem with using the chrome version of this um on the ipad so you know, hopefully it will not go on to a second advert um Okay, so here we go. We got CJ. CJ knows tech, and you are watching. See, it works all right. You can. I think scrub. Can you scrub? No, you can't scrub. Okay, so what it is is. Okay, I figured out the problem. So I reckon I would have been able to skip the video if I used touch. So you can skip the video using touch, and you can also. Um, I could have skipped the the advert if I had touched um, on the iPad Pro. So right now, sorry, to clarify, I am using a trackpad. I'm using a Magic Keyboard with the trackpad. And yeah, so this is not usable with the trackpad. Um, so we'll look. Okay, wait, hold on, wait, it's skipping now, but you can't drag, which is obviously what you'd wanna wanna do uh, in this case. Um, so for me, this is not, great it's not super usable but let's see what it's like on safari so if we go to safari and youtube uh let's give actually wait before we go into a video let's check out here so you see now this is the full youtube that you see on a, a desktop so you can actually go to your channel youtube studio you can switch accounts you can basically do everything you would expect i mean you can even turn it to dark mode um so that's basically what we need um, from the Chrome version of the YouTube app. So let's see. So let's let's click on the video. Let's see. I'll just click on what is good, CJ. CJ. Is CJ. Let's see if we can see. There we go. I'm using a magic keyboard and you can just seek. Just go for it seamlessly. See, that works perfectly. Um, and also you can see, I mean, on the Chrome version, there's actually two columns. I don't know, maybe some people might find it better, but, uh, it seems a little bit cluttered to me. Um, but I think it's pretty clear guys that this is the better experience. Safari is the much, much better experience. I mean, it has all the functionality. It works exactly how you expect. I actually go through Safari to upload my videos. The next test we're going to do is look at video again, but look at Vimeo. So let's see how Vimeo works on Chrome. So can you, yep. Yeah, okay, video, Vimeo works very good. So you can do everything you expect. Let's see what full screen looks like. 
Yep, full screen is good. You can even do picture in picture. You can get rid of the bars. So yeah, I mean, I think, I think it's pretty clear. Vimeo works perfectly. So if you need to use that, zero problems. So let's check it out on Safari. I'm expecting it to work perfectly here too. So let's see. Yeah, looks good. You can do the picture in picture like Chrome. Now, that it's, yeah, yeah, okay, that works. Now, actually, there's a feature that Chrome had that Safari doesn't have, which is to get rid of the black bars. So we can't expand just to get rid of the black bars. So, I mean, I think that's a, a win for Chrome. Um, but for the most part, it's a pretty consistent experience. The next thing I want to look at is images. So if you are to make this uh, a laptop replacement, one thing you're going to have to be able to do is download images, especially from places like um, Google. Um, so in this case, we have just this random image. It's actually from Unsplash. Now, you can't actually do anything. It won't let you... Um, yeah, it's, it's not going to let you. If you guys know why it's not letting me do it, uh, please comment down below. But so, for example, share. Will that work? No, that's the link. I want to download the image. So there's actually another example of this. So if I go to Pixabay video, it's the same sort of issue. So say I wanted to download this. Now it's a free download. All I have to do is go here, click download, and then look, it shows me. But it doesn't actually download it, and there is no way for me to download it. I'm sure you can hear me clicking um, aggressively on the trackpad. There is no way to download this. So let's look at, let's try all this on Safari. So let's see if we can do this on Safari. So Safari, we have the Apple images. So you can see we can actually right click. And yeah, you can see we can open in a different background. We can open in a new window. You can just add it to your photos. So it will just be in your camera roll, which is super convenient. Um, so this is a big problem. If you If you have to use Chrome, it's a huge problem that you can't do this on Chrome. Now, if we go back to that Pixabay website and we download this, we go to HD, we download, and then you see, look, this is like what you expect. It's a normal download. You can either view it, which will open it in another tab, or you can just download it straight away. And there you go. It's right there. It's downloaded and it's all done. See, so that's why Safari right now is way, way, way better than Chrome on the iPad Pro. And it's, it's really unfortunate because, I mean, we all love Chrome, um, especially when you use it on Mac. Another thing you want to consider is there are no plugins, um, to my knowledge. I might be wrong, but there are no plugins. So if you or somebody wants to do Adblock and um, you have all these other plugins that you use, which I was that person, um, then you can't do it. And that's not just for Chrome. That's for either Safari or Chrome. So that could be a deal breaker for some people. But anyway, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, uh, let me know down below. Um, give this video a like. It really helps. And please subscribe for more. I'm going to go through more everyday scenarios of using the iPad Pro as your main computer and whether or not it's actually viable. Um, in this case, avoid Google Chrome for any work. It's okay for video, um, but avoid it for work. Thanks for watching, guys.